Okay, so I'm going to start off by as asking the audience to do something for me. Pick a political figure, political party across the political spectrum um, who you think that your morals and values align with. For example, it can be anywhere from the conservative figure of Donald Trump to um, Democratic parties, but like Barack Obama. Just for context, I will be using American politics because it's what I'm most familiar with, and I'm sure it's what most of you are familiar with as well. And ask yourself why. Why did you pick these, um, this political figure, political party? Is it because you think your values and morals align with theirs? Does it still now, now that you've truly thought about it? Because what I've observed is that um, people essentially pledge their alliance to a political figure, a political group, and once they've done that, they sort of ignore their own values and beliefs. They conform their values and beliefs instead of just accepting that sometimes their values and beliefs don't align, their um, perspective and views on some issues don't align, and that in fact it might align with the oppositions. Now, um, this, is, this might be because of pride, ego, stubbornness, or sometimes because they're just misinformed. And essentially what I'm trying to say is that nowadays people don't care about what is said, they care about who said it. And this begs the question, are people really paying attention to the issues? Now, I have some uh, evidence up here. This is just for context, this was by Jimmy Kimmel, a social experiment by Jimmy Kimmel. He's a late night TV show host in the United States. And what he did was he went to a Hillary Clinton convention in the United States. Um, and a rally essentially, where, and he asked Hillary Clinton supporters to uh, their opinion on a Donald Trump quote. But the trick here is that he told them it was said by Hillary Clinton. So you guys can just take a, take a couple of seconds to read it. So it is, it is quite like sad, it's hilarious, but it is sad that you can clearly see this guy's misinformed. He doesn't know who he's supporting and what they believe in. Now, I do have a glimmer of hope on the next slide and I'll just give you guys a couple of seconds to read that as well. Now, these are all real. You guys can search it up on YouTube. I just can put it up because of uh, copyright issues. Um, but this is what you should aim to see. You can really see that this woman is informed and she knows who she is supporting. Now, the other day I was on Quora and um, it's sort of like Yahoo Answers, but a bit more sophisticated. And uh, I found the following theories from Republicans. So Muslims in New Jersey were cheering after 9-11. Uh, climate change is a hoax. 16 to 18 people died in the recent um, hurricane in Puerto Rico when reality 3,000 people died. And lastly, and this is ridiculous, Barack Obama was not born in the US. Now, the thing is that these, consp these conspiracy theories, um, the reason why they're so popular is because of um, one reason. Every single claim here was stated or endorsed by one man, Donald Trump. And this was throughout his campaign or career as a political candidate. Now, this is dangerous because what prejudice does is that it sort of clouds the truth, it feeds to people's bias, it, gives them, it appeases them and gives them what they want to hear. Yeah, so you can see that prejudice actually clouds true meanings and um, it, does, it sort of ignores what people actually want to say. So, hear me out when I say that Trump is seen as racist, but to an extent he is right. Um, now, when you look, go through his unsavory comments, the underlying notion of the border wall, it makes sense. Um, you want to keep out illegal immigrants. If you want to come into the country, come in legally. Um, now, obviously, it is the, I think the money could be better spent um, elsewhere, but that's what they decided to do. And I guess it is fair in the nation's security and economic interests. But uh, when I first heard about the border wall, I thought he was just being racist. He didn't like um, colored people, wanted to keep people out. He wanted a white America. But after knowing to people who supported him and people who actually understood what he's saying, even I came to the conclusion that there's a lot of prejudice against him and that what he's saying is right, even though he says in a really indirect way and with a lot of um, sort of, I guess you'd say racist comments. Um, yeah, so back to the lying. Uh, according to the Washington Post, uh, Trump went, uh, in the seven weeks leading up the midterm, uh, Trump said 1,419 false uh, claims and statements. And that's an average of 29 a day. And that's including the days when he went golfing at his Mar-a-Lago spa, uh, spa resort. And this was by the Washington Post, so it is quite credible. The second one was that now this news reported that uh, he averaged, in a, bottle, in a bottle wall speech, he averaged one false claim every 34 seconds. Th that, is, that is crazy. And an example is that, for example, uh, he said that there was a security and humanitarian crisis at the southern border, which is false because Illegal border crossings have been at an all-time, had been at a 46-year time low. 
So I want to understand, essentially, how do people judge candidacy and how does lying affect voters and the way people vote? Well, the consistent line essentially forces this danger, dangerous culture where people think that if the president and the government is lying, so can I, right? Um, this leads, this spreads misinformation, and misin misinformation is essentially when people want to hear what they want to hear, and this leads to bias. Um, and unfortunately, the truth costs votes. So how do we combat this? How do we solve this issue? Well, it sounds kind of cliche, but a half of it is just knowing there is one. When you know there is one, you start researching more. When you research more, you'll be more aware of what people are saying, you can call people out, and you can ensure that other people don't fall for the same tricks. Or you can do what I did, um, be more understanding, be more empathetic, understand where people are coming from, their views and what they truly mean. Uh, and lastly, help, help um, find misinformation. Tell people about websites such as, such as PolitiFact, which actually fact check, fact check each um, claim online. Uh, yeah, thank you.